This is the, the brains and kind of central nervous system of where everything happens on board. Uh, it's where we drive the submarine from, and as you can see, uh, on each side of me, you see each of our two periscopes. Uh, each has a little bit different capability, but whenever we're on the surface or at periscope depth just below the surface, uh, this is what we look out, and you've seen it in all the traditional submarine movies. Uh, we uh, take our bearings, we uh, commence our attacks on surface ships if we needed to, and we, uh, we also navigate on the surface by looking through these two periscopes. Okay, I'm just going to show you how we save space on a submarine. I can take my conference table here, flip it up, lower the seats, and voila, get my rack. So this is the typical bunk size that you'll see a guy get. Uh, additionally, uh, for him to store all of his personal items, these bunks lift up, and that's where I'll stow his extra clothes and whatnot. And the only thing he has other than that is a little uh, little locker at the foot of his rack. Normally this is where you'd see all the torpedoes stowed. Uh, right now, you'll see a bunch of luggage we have stowed on the port racks, or the port stoves. That's because the boat's currently transitioning from Guam to uh, back to Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. So a lot of guys are taking extra luggage and such with them. Over here behind oh. these curtains are actually extra racks for guys to sleep in. Uh, due to the limited bed space on board, sometimes we actually have to load, ex load extra racks into the ship. And those usually come down the to the torpedo room and guys will actually sleep in here. So not, not the most private space, but uh, we, make, we make do with what we can. The following is a test of the general alarm from control disregard. So what we would do is we would look up and just pull this and it would wake everybody up. <laughs> So that alarm would wake up the whole ship. So I made an announcement first to tell everybody I was just testing it. Otherwise, you'd see people running all over the place in order to respond to the casualty. And that's what we practice all the time when we're out at sea. Because obviously, if you're contained in a submarine 400 feet beneath the surface, uh, you have to respond quick because things like fires and floods can uh, you know, make things really difficult in a submarine. So if I just saw a contact, it would depend if I was trying to attack it, if I just spotted it on the horizon, or if I saw it close aboard. So if I was trying to attack it, I would uh, I would yell observation warship or observation merchant, and then I would conduct my visual observation of that so I could enter in my fire control system and get a solution to attack it. If it was just a merchant on the horizon, I would do a very similar thing with uh, calling out an observation only my goal then would be to track it to make sure they, they didn't see me and to make sure that obviously we, we kept a safe distance from them. If I happen to look up and see someone I wasn't expecting and they were very close, I would yell emergency deep and I'd immediately lower the scope and we would order up a very fast bell and we would dive the ship to a safe depth as fast as we could to clear out of the surface traffic. 